Legend of Total War here with part 25 of my This is Total War Attila Eastern Roman Empire Let's Play campaign. So we were under attack by Gertulians uh, at Sabrata. This battle doesn't even matter, so I don't even know why I'm considering even fighting it. But I said I would fight it, just to sort of damage these guys. I really, I really get sick of these... these um, defensive sieges all the fucking time. And the AI in this, they love to hit an undefended settlement and take no real initiative in regard to it. They just sack it, sack it, sack it, sack it five times before they even consider taking it. The, the AI love undefended settlements in this. And because there's limitations on, the, on Imperium, it's very hard to protect all of your settlements the larger you get. So, uh, Creative Assembly's made a game that pleases the AI that they programmed, rather than the players. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck it. Alright, so what are we doing here? Uh, fighting these guys out on the water is pretty much futile. However, there's some units here that are pretty much useless in doing anything else. So I'm gonna try and burn... burn their general down. Actually, is there any, any point in burning him down? Problem is, these guys don't get a chance to... Hang on, what if I... Fucking hell, there's... Why did I bother even fighting this battle? Like, the settlement's in ruins, we're not gonna be able to fight it properly. Hang on, hang on, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Why don't we destroy these? And with, we're not gonna burn those ships down, so we might as well just use regular shot. And you too. I wouldn't bother trying to defend here. If we're going to do any damage to them, we've got to rely on the actual towers. I'm surprised if you've even Our got some towers. Been badly destroyed by the enemy. Yeah, last time that is. Uh, whatever. Why would they leave these guys undefended like this? So dumb. God, they've already done 40% damage to this ship. Fuck. It's not going to do anything, but whatever. God give us strength. A ship as fools, wiser men would flee before our numbers. What? No way. You fucking idiot advisor. We don't stand a chance on this one. Look at what they've just done to us already. Are you going to burn them or not? Are you just going to twirl around? Have destroyed an entire unit. Of course they have. Come on, burn it. Fucking idiots. Then again, they're about out of ammunition now. So they'll be looking to replenish ammo, yeah. Are you gonna fucking do this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, burn them right, right down. No. Well, you might as well try and, try and stop them if you can. Alright, well that's one ship down. Let's take on another one. That's one ship broken, I should add. It's not destroyed. More ammunition. This ship will continue firing. And it's on fire. Oh, of course it is. Um, and we absolutely, we actually can't use this to to um, like to attack them. Fuck man, hell, they get so much bonuses on me. That's why you don't want to go up against them and oh, whatever. If this was a normal difficulty, we should have had no problem wiping them out, but it's not. Nothing remains of this unit now. I just burnt down my ships very quickly. And yep, blow me up. I don't even know why I bothered fighting this battle. I knew uh oh, that's right, that's probably why it's going so shit. The enemy has obliterated an entire unit. This was pointless to fight, manual. I don't know if this is really going to come in handy there. I probably should have disembarked, but... Yeah, whatever. I should have just auto-resolved it. It's about fucking pointless. Um... Because these guys here are going to be difficult for them to beat. You'll need to go into test duty because they do have a lot of archers. To the barricades! The enemy attacks! 
I mean, they had fire arrows, and I literally had a flamethrower, and they defeated my big boat before I could defeat one of theirs. Well, if I had concentrated fire with flaming shot with the other ones, maybe I would have destroyed it. But then again, I'm not too familiar with the flame ships, so... I didn't know it would fail that badly. They work well on transport ships, though, but to be honest, I would never purchase those those fire drummonds or whatever, they are not good, in my opinion. So it's just down to Testudo. They won't have much ammo. Are you gonna start shooting or what? We're gonna need, need to do something about this. Now guys here probably won't fight very well. I feel like shit. I should I feel like I should take them out of Testudo. Oh no 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 don't do that. You're gonna shoot our own troops. Okay, well, they're almost out of ammo. Yeah, come over here a bit more. Because you need to defend, defend it whilst, um, defend the tower. It's going to do more damage than anything else. Yeah, I should have brought my navy in here and just, just stayed near a tower. Would have lasted longer. Oh well, next time I'm in a shitty situation like, like this, I'll do that. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. So I can see the towers are doing quite a lot of damage, but the thing is, if we don't actually destroy the battalion, well then again, actually, keeping them weakened, because navies recover a lot slower than than um, land military forces. So it might be best to keep them weakened. Oh, god damn it. How'd that happen? Oh well, doesn't matter. Might as well hurry this up now. I shouldn't have bothered. I just wasted. It wasn't 14 minutes because most of it was in four times speed, but yeah, it was a, that was a waste of time. I should have just gone with my instincts in order to resolve that. It's not even interesting. Look at that guy's fucking name. Pive Tar Based. I kind of hope they occupy it. They're probably just gonna sack it though. Yeah. What are they doing? Okay, that's probably a good thing. For one thing, the settlement was already damaged. Okay, never mind. I thought they were just gonna um, just hold siege. In which case, I was gonna chase them down, but this is the end of this army, I suppose. Now, they've still got that navy out there, but he's no threat to me at all. I'll send someone to go run it down eventually. Um, I'll take... I don't really need the ransom, to be honest. We make, we make so much money that... Yeah, extra 300. At this point, not gonna really make... Not gonna see a difference out of that. I'd rather keep my armies... Nice and strong. But yeah, we got that motherfucker. We find you worthy of benefit. Our favor and now I can bring. Well, the thing is, because the region got sacked, I might have to deal with a rebellion. Because there's instability. But once that's done with, we can move west. All right, settlement sacked. Whatever, hostile. Whatever. Rebellion imminent in Triple Tana, whatever. Enemies in high places, do whatever it takes. Good, and that's exactly where I wanted it to be. Good. The campaign's going really well, I think. Of course, we're smaller than what we started off as, but that was part of the plan. 
Alright, I feel like we do need... Hang on, that can replace Legio. Competencies. But also Ballastario with Elite Ballastario. And I think the Elite Ballastario are significantly more expensive. So let's focus on... Let me just see what's all, all this stuff here. Don't need that. That shit. Oh, wait, no, it's not. The campaign... I was just looking at the Unlocks Recruitment of The extra campaign movement range is certainly useful. Reduced recruitment costs. Not a big deal. What about this? I'm going to go with that. That won't take too long. Alright then. So... Never try a Yana Bostra needs fixing up. So it's going to need one of these buildings. How are we going with religion here? I'm pretty sure the religion was not a big deal. Religious difference is only minus four. That's fine. We need food eventually. So grab that. And was I going to make infantry from here? I think so. All right. Well, whatever. Um, cattle herd can be upgraded. Not yet, though. Just wait on that. This stuff is being upgraded, but we've got to wait for it to repair. I mean, I could go and... Actually, that's not too expensive. I'll do that. And this one... Yeah, whatever. Just get it done with. Okay. My income has got... Well, my, my profit per turn has gone down, but my overall income keeps getting higher because this, this treasury is getting larger with every turn. Of course, I keep spending more money on more troops. That's okay. We'll be able to use that for... Okay, look, even even with um, two armies defending the province, it's... Oh my god, sabrata has been fucked up. I should just demolish it down a level. That got demolished down. That'll need to be repaired. Do we want to use it again? I might not worry too much about Triple Tana. Okay. Because I do want to take out this here. But then again, there's, there's dense territory right there. More useful. Let's just see what's here first. If they've got big defenders, then... I don't know. Because they are just separatists, after all. Fuck, I could take that down. Bloody eyes closed. <coughs> Excuse me. The only problem is... Attrition. Fucking crossing the desert. There are no abilities that we can have that can actually improve our situation with the desert. Um, come and stand there. You'll take a bit of attrition. But then you go in defensive position and then that removes a lot of the attrition. You come to here. We want to make sure they're just on 50% so they can stay in... Uh, what's it called? Defensive position. So that way they can recover. And you, you don't need to stay in Garama. Oh, hang on. You can come back to Sidamas. Now, the problem is if the rebellion happens here... Um, I suppose it'll hold out a little while. But we do need to fix things up. Okay, so public baths. No, we're destroying that. Sidamas. Okay, so we need food here and fountain. What's this? Courthouse, all that stuff there will be repaired in its own time, and let's convert that. We hunger for battle. At your service. If possible, we should try to delay this revolt as long as possible until we've, we've looted this settlement, and then let a, let a revolt happen. Okay. How can I assist? You come in over you here. Don't see enemy, uh, any enemy agents around the place. Right now, I want you to recruit. Let's see what's better. I think. Let's see. They've got. These are better, I think. I mean, they're more expensive, and they're just good against cavalry. I mean, they're good against cavalry in Testudo. So, let's get to the border. Ah, uh, public order's not great. Whatever, it's improving. Come over here and recruit. Okay, we're almost at the next level of growth there. Okay, we could probably start 
building up on that navy because that's only using up two recruitment slots. However, the problem is, of course, um, cost. I don't want to spend too much money. And I think we've been spending too much lately. So if I wanted to take out this province here, let's see. Arabia Magna. This region here is desolate, but then there's... Uh, that's not a good region for us to take. It might be best to just make that desolate. Depends what's here. If I go to Dumartha... They've already built it up a lot. I, I don't want to make that desolate. Can't defend Sabrata, and I'm, I'm not fussed about it. Leptis Magna has got defenders, so has Macomedes. So if the rebellions show up there, we should actually be able to beat them. And what about this courthouse here? We were going to convert that to Tabernate, eventually a food emporium. This also needs to be converted, do that now, to Greek church. Let me just see here. I mean, I know I'm not able to get them until I research these texts here, but eventually I will do it. I need to for divine victory conditions. Um, so that provides a lot of osmosis. Religious osmosis. But to be honest, I don't think the religious things are going to be a problem. Extra public order. So that doesn't provide any public order, but does it provide... Um, extra research rate. 4% is not really a big deal. Alright, um... Convert just to a Greek church. We get, we get enough influence. That should do us for now. And to be honest, we're not really going to make much money from from culture anyway once things get corrupt. All of our money is going to come from treasury, so I'm going to go with what's going to provide more public order from now on. And don't bother building up that region at all. How are we going for food? Food's not good, but that's largely Sabrata's fault. We'll fix that up eventually. Camel farm, yeah, that's good. bit of money in that. Um, just leave it for now. Okay, I think I've done everything I can for this turn. Let's just make sure I'm at war with everyone. And... Good. I don't want to use up their influence because we're running on the... T I don't want to be in here because that reduces public order and actually loyalty as well. I don't care about the tax rate. If anything, maybe we could lower it. Let's see. I mean, yeah, I could, but I still need more money. Look, we've dipped under 600,000 again. Gotta stop spending so much. Well, but at the same time, you know, these these expenditures will will pay dividends. Anyway, let's move on. Also, once we tank Africa, we've got our source of marble, so we can upgrade these buildings. Shall we hack it? You know, after that crushing defeat they suffered, no no wonder they won a peace treaty. I'm just hoping for a nice quiet end turn, because I don't like to be attacked in defense. Unless I'm specifically looking for it, which usually I'm not. Take this subsidy. Our My lord. We demand only Nothing going on here that I think I need to be concerned about. I haven't fought the White Huns before. I wonder if they're going to be difficult. I'm sure they're not going to be as difficult as Attila when he comes with his buddy. Ten full stacks or whatever. Take this subsidy. Our Your luck. My lord wishes to we have driven too hard. I'd certainly like to get rid of them, but all in due time. If we ever extend our borders, it's going to cost us more money. 
Good luck mids are gone. I hate those guys. Matter of state. Oh, I'll read up. That's uh, unexpected. Okay, well the um, balance power went up. I didn't need. I didn't need it to. But you know, as, as long as no one's loyalty is in a problem, it's fine. All right. So what's here? There are rumors abound that in the shadows and forgotten places, your political rivals are meeting. Who knows what is being discussed in the secret conclave? Uh, let's hope it is not you. Um, let's meet with them. See what happens. I feel like I've done that one before and it turned out okay. What's this here? An army. At your service. Okay, come up ahead here. Let me just see. If I hindered that, I could probably take Tyrus. I just don't know if I really want to, that's all. Let me just see, it will hinder him. Oh, low chance of success, but try it anyway. Yeah, of course he failed. Okay, get rid of these two units here. I don't feel like I need them anymore. And the camels. Yeah, I'll keep it for now. What else are we going to recruit here? Recruit the remaining units into um, spearmen. Actually, get one more of those, and then you're at full stack. Good incomes increase. Well, our that's increasing. That's decreasing. I got to stop spending so much. Well, that's done. Um, I guess we could go and finish off that army. Well, the thing is, if I finish it off, they're just gonna hmm, Armenia out here. Oh, I forgot to repair all this shit. That needed to be done last turn. You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. This this guy here could use some experience. That's lost. Don't worry about a ransom. Sink it. And whatever, they'll raise a new army, but it'll take them ages to get back here anyway, so I don't know why I'm fretting about it. Alright, what have you got for me? Extra research rate? Sounds good, grab that. What else? Extra research rate here. Extra integrity? Sounds good, I'll grab that. Um, and then... Whatever. Good. Rebellion's still likely to happen eventually here. How bad is the instability? It might be best if we had just allowed this rebellion to happen sooner rather than later. Because, let me see, how many turns of instability? 15. I can't just keep these guys standing here, so just come out of the city. I don't think we need to raid it, but just... Hang on, let me just see. If I was to raid... Does that make more money? Yeah, significantly more. Alright, do that. And over here, raid this. Good. And that'll get us closer towards a, um, a revolt. They're not even recruiting. Uh, that would be why. They've already got an army out here. We could get to Dimity right now, but we would of course take attrition. This guy can't exactly do it. Stand close to the border here and wait until next turn. If we're lucky, well, we'll see what happens with those. But yeah, I will definitely need both of my forces to defend the settlement after after that's been taken. So they didn't attack... Okay, there was a re rebellion here. At Leptis Magna. Um, we shouldn't let that go on for too long. Because it'll... Excuse me, it'll damage the city. Okay, this settlement here is no longer damaged. But if I leave here, public order problems. Let me see... 
are not actually going to be that bad. Still, uh, stay here. I'll send. I'll send him to go deal with it. Actually, that actually that actually increased um, public order problems, which is what we want. We want this rebellion to happen sooner rather than later. I am a champion of the Lord, Commander. Okay, so also this navy here is ready to roll. And I've been meaning to pay these guys back. Okay, but that causes a little bit of public order problems here, but it's nothing too concerning. What else do I need to do? I mean, we need another navy out in here. I could send it down this way. I could occupy the settlement, but I feel like that could be bad. I don't know, maybe I'll just sack it. Let me have a look at the settlement. Oh, fuck. Let's just see how wealthy it is. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, any more enemies to declare war on? Nope. Fix this up. Need cattle. Okay, that needs to be converted to an amphitheater. That'll be repaired in the next turn or so. Okay, so what do we need here? Will I need religious stuff? How, how bad are things with religion? Very bad. Okay, we're definitely going to need a church here. And I think that's all we need to do for the turn. Except for that. Because I keep spending... Look, my expenses were like 20000 a couple of turns ago. Now it's up to 40000 I keep spending more money. But that's okay. Shit, at least I can afford it. Let's move on. Don't forget, we can also hire a completely new army as well. But then, uh, I, want, I want to try and keep my income above 30,000 at this stage in the game now. So let's just try and hold off on the expenditure. If anything, I'm expanding too quickly. I mean, some of these provinces aren't even consolidated properly yet. Shall we hack at the Franks are all over the goddamn place. Terrible bloody empires that they form. Their spirits tell us that we should offer you gold. Fuck your spirits and fuck your gold. Yeah, see, so you just ran out of there. My lord is willing to lay down the sword. It is not possible. And they're still dicking around. I wonder how long the Garamantians are going to be running around for. I should probably go and find them and kill Take them. The subsidy. So they're near Macomedes. Um, Peace. My navy is like way over here. Um. So Africa wants to come and take on Sabrata, but Sabrata has like nothing here anyway. So don't bother fighting this manually, waste of time. If they want to occupy that, I'm fine with it. No, of course they don't want to occupy it. Of course not, they know they can't keep it. Got two armies close by that can get them. No peace, only death. Good, money went up. Let's 
So, we got ourselves here, Turncoat. A fugitive has arrived, claiming to be the agent of a rival power. He has requested asylum, but his former employers are demanding his return. He's offered us a valuable state secret, should we protect him? Um, grant him asylum. Because we don't care about our neighbours, since we're at war with everyone. I want you to come out over here, spy on them. I would really like to get rid of the Garamantians, but we do need to get rid of them, probably first. Still got public order problems here. The instability would have returned because of um, because they sacked the city. Um, At your command. Here I nah, come. damn! I probably shouldn't have done that. We can't quite reach him. Okay. Well, if another rebellion happens, I'm not too concerned. I'll just keep these settlements protected in the meantime. Okay. Now it's time to take this. Now these guys have been sieging here for a while. What I'll do, if I could hinder them, they might not be able to make... Oh my god, there's no chance of hindering them. None at all. How may I serve you? Now, if he wanted to, he could get back here. That's the problem. So we're probably going to have to occupy the settlement, not completely destroy it. Commander. Who would be best inside the city? Well, both of these armies are pretty much the same. I'll use this one. Because they'll be back here to, uh, to take it, no doubt. And if order resolve doesn't yield us good results, then we'll have to fight manually, obviously. So yeah, don't loot it, just occupy it. Ready for battle. Uh, and there's another one over here that we didn't count for. What if you could sabotage him? No chance of that either. Um, this actually looks quite bad, because what they could do is besiege the city with one army and attack with the other. Ready for orders. Well, let's just hope they don't do that. The Morians are over here. I feel like attacking the settlement right here with what we've got is not smart. I might try and fill my ranks a bit more with with some other units. That'll be a, a little bit better. Oh, I should. They should actually be, be better off in here. Actually, no, they won't because this is where. Oh, fuck, let me, let me just see. What have they got anyway? Ready for battle. Ready for orders. I don't want to be filling my ranks full of mercenaries, but I've got to do what i got to do. Try and defend this. I mean, I've got the money, so well, whatever. We hunger for battle. And I'm gonna hire those three camels. Okay, seriously affecting our income, but whatever. I'm sure we can defend that area now. Now, another thing we could do is attack this. I reckon that could go down very nicely, especially with all this artillery. I don't know if I really want to like keep it. I suppose we could, because I need more Imperium. Oh, then again, we need more money. That's what we really need. I just I just love to keep expanding. It can be my weakness. I mean, what I really should do is just sit here, just pressing enter, and keep making more money. And look at this. Idiots that have no interest in defending their own territory. Not that they could. We'd have to fight it manually, though. That's the problem when using navies. Let's use two at a time. But I really don't see any reason why we would lose this, so... I mean, I could auto-resolve it, but it would do so much damage to the Navy, I don't think it's worth it. Let's fight it manually, and then probably call it a day after that. Now, what I would need to decide, obviously, before we finish, whether or not I want to sack the settlement, or whether or not I want to keep it. 
obviously if I keep it, it stops them from being able to um, raise navies here. However, I really don't have anything to defend the settlement with. I mean, I could raise an army here, but this is not a high priority area. I should be conquering Africa, but I have already dedicated quite a lot of forces to Africa. Alright, um, we're unlikely going to hit any of those, those naval units, but we'll see what we can do. Come on, see if you can move over there and get them. No, they're going to disembark. Okay, don't fire at will, but getting close. Because if we want to... We should try and, um... What's it called? Uh, shoot them from afar, f to begin with. Alright, no more f flaming shots needed. Okay, if you want to do me a favour, blow the up... Enemy has been spotted. This, well, hang on, hang on, get, get in closer first. Get to there. We are heavily outnumbered. No, we're not, do me a fuckwit. No, 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 I think I hit the wrong thing. No, shit, shit, got hit. Well, got it. The enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. Now let's shoot us up some desert spears. No, what the fuck? Idiots. Wasting your ammunition like that. Well, whatever. Well, having done this much damage to the settlement, I'm not sure if I should occupy it. But you know what? I'm actually thinking maybe I should. See the flames! Their city is ablaze! Because... Why not? These guys might be able to defend the settlement. One of our ships is out of ammunition! Ammunition stocks restored! Stay here, shoot them. Yeah, they'll run out of ammunition before too long, and then there'll be no threat. Oh, fuck. These guys over here getting shot. Oh, but That's what. Trying to do this battle in four times speed, because it's not that interesting, to be honest. I've only done two percent damage. It's not. That's not bad. Uh, have it. Have it. Shit. Give it a. Give it a rest. I'm almost out of ammo with that anyway. Man, they, that's the AI on this is so dumb. I really wish fucking Creative Assembly would fix this shit up. You tell them to stop doing something, and they just keep going for a little while longer. Ah, uh, we're getting shot by, by that. Get back. All right, you three. I want you to blow up that tower. If you wouldn't mind. Now I'm pretty sure if I disembark these forces here, we can uh, we can beat them. All right, uh, get in there, blow it up. Yeah, these, these ships here seem to do a lot of damage a lot faster than the other ones did, so... Yeah, they do seem to be better. Even though there's less men in them. See, look at this, they still keep going. Like, a bunch of fucking idiots. They're not putting their shit near the coast here anymore. See if you can blow these camel warriors to hell. Fucking dodge the shot. Um, blow that up. More ammunition. This ship will continue firing. I know they're about to come fight us. It's okay, they're only desert raiders charging into. Fuck. Come on, there's camel warriors amongst them as well. Get over here. It's okay if he's taking that much damage. It'll be fine. Come 
Alright, don't let this motherfucker here get out of the way. Alright, we gotta use flaming shot. It'll do more damage to him. impact was slow but it looks like it was pretty powerful I don't know no no it wasn't that bad all right can we get him there what's this desert truck oh fuck they're gonna wrap this unit no don't don't be using your thing okay also go fuck. um at least they're gone he's not destroyed at the very least this desert tribesman, we got this. This battle's almost over. The fuck? Keep firing. Oh, Ammunition replenished. Do I need you on heavy shot? Heavy shot, shoot units that haven't routed already. Good, that was pretty easy. Sure, we took a little bit of damage, but certainly less than order resolve would have happened. Yielded. It's because in order resolve, it mainly calculates, I think, the melee defense. And because these units here have, like, no melee defense, it gave us bad ratings. This is why I think the order resolve mechanic just needs to be completely revamped. And I have a feeling it's going to be pretty similar in Total War Warhammer. Even though they've said that it's not. I just get this feeling like it's going to operate pretty much the same. Okay, so we're just going to occupy it because I don't want it to be too badly damaged. If we come down here, or well, if they come down and the settlement's fucked, they're going to fight like shit. Any new enemies? Oh shit, i got to be careful because if I... If I take too many seeds, because obviously we're going to find new people out here. Anyway, start taking Arabia Felix. This region here is not particularly valuable at all. I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 26 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time. Fuckers.